Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Today we're going to learn something different. We're going to do some really quick and easy ornaments that anybody can make with these arabesque tiles. I love the look and the shape of them. They're easy to find at like Lowe's and Home Depot and you get a lot of ornaments for your buck. So let's get started. We're going to use some stickers from Hobby Lobby. We're going to use a Sharpie and some ribbon and hot glue and we're going to make very easy and cheap ornaments to give away this year. Okay, I saw this as a craft kind of fair and I bought some and I thought this is such a cute idea. This is not an original idea. I know people have been using these styles to make ornaments and I thought I just want to share a very simple way. Maybe you're not that crafty. That's okay. If you know how to use stickers and you can use a hot glue gun and you can cut things out, you can make some really pretty ornaments to give maybe on top of a gift, um, a name tag for a gift, and just a just simple way and special way to give somebody something um, that you love, that you made. So I got this tile. This is, I forget what the name of this tile is, but you can get this tile. I'll leave the name for it in the description box below or put it on the screen here because right now I'm it's not coming to me. You, I bought this from Lowe's. Um, I know that Home Depot had like a gray version of these. I don't know that they had a white. I had to go to a, a Lowe's to find them. This was like six bucks. That's it. You get 15 of these separate tiles. And what we're going to do is we are just going to cut it off. Let me just it over top here so it's all connected I probably should get like a, a sharp sharp knife or something but you're just going to cut these and you're going to trim off the little backing that holds everything together so I'm going to trim a few of these and then I'll be back and I'll show you how to simply make really cute ornaments okay so let's talk about the different things we can do so the first thing i'm going to show you to do is how to take just simple stickers i got these stickers from hobby lobby and as you can see they are on a clear backing so that's what you want you want a clear backing so it's not going to show through and then on this one it's like some really pretty words and like little christmas trees and little accents that you can use so what drew me to these i think these are really pretty and i love this one right here so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to take one of my um tiles here i did just pull this off that's all i did i just kind of pulled it and it comes right off okay now if you want it to be really um detail oriented and you wanted to um trace some felt you could do that i'm not going to do that right now because that's that's the front that everybody's going to see anyway so i'm just going to stick with that i'm going to just take a sticker now i know a lot of you have like a cry cut or a cricket how do you pronounce it cricket i say cricket um, I don't know if that's right, or maybe you have a silhouette. I have a Cricut Maker. I don't use it like I should. And you could make your own vinyl cutouts. And if you have those machines, do that. I think they would be amazing. So basically, I just wanna make sure I got this in the shot here. I'm just gonna find a spot where I think it's gonna look good. And how pretty is that? I mean, really. I think that is so pretty. You can barely tell that it's a sticker and it's so pretty. So what would I do is now, now I want to um, take something and trim it out and make a little loop. So I have this little um, silver roping because I thought this will be pretty. Cut it here. Okay, so I got this roping at Joann's when they had like buy two, get four free. It was a ridiculous deal. So one of the two things you could do is we could take it and we could we could glue all around it if you want to get really detailed. Or you could just take and make a little loop here. All right, let's see here. A little loop. And on the back of it, let me find, I'm going to find some felt. Hold on. I found some scrap felt and I just cut a little piece here. I'm going to take my glue gun. 
I am going to glue it right here. All right. I'm going to put that there on top and actually put a little bit more glue. And then I'm going to just place my felt over top of that. All right. I probably need to trim that felt up a little bit. Cut a little bit here. So, all right. You could let that dry and be done. Okay. And so we're going to do it like we're tying our shoes. Okay. We're going to make a bow. We're going to make a loop. And we're going to pull it like you were tying a pair of shoes. Okay. okay. And we're going to make it a lot smaller. <laughs> That's way too big. And then we have a, just a really little simple bow. Okay. And then you're going to cut your ends here. Oh, a little bit more. And you're just going to put a little bow right there. All right. And so you're just going to just glue your little bow right on the back here. Not too much glue. And I think that's really cute. I think it's very simple. But again, if you don't want to put a bow, don't put a bow. So that is little ornament one. And I think that is so pretty and so dainty. I really love it. Um, if you were doing like a frozen tree or the blues and the silvers, this would be a great way to add all these blues. And again, these were $2.99 a sheet and I got them half off. So $1.50. So listen, I don't have a lot in that ornament. I don't even have I don't think 75 cents in that ornament. And you could do a whole tree with those. All right, so let's do the next one. So on this one, we're gonna use the words. And I am like some, one says Christmas Belize, but I think that the Christmas, yeah, it's just a little too big. I mean, you could get that in there and just cut off the S. You could do Christmas, and then you could do joy. Let's see. You could, you could cut the warm wishes in half. You could do season. Um, winter Wonderland is cute. Oh, I'm trying to decide. Snow, cheer, merry. Oh, you could do this. You could do the Christmas and then do the merry on top. Let's do that one. So what I do know is I need to cut this off, okay? So we're gonna cut off that little sprig or, you know, dash. I think this would be fun to do with your kids. You know, you want it to be pretty, pretty straight. So I'm just going to look here. And I think this could be pretty forgiving. I think you could like, you could cut this off. Like I still need to cut off a little bit of the S there, but you know what? It will, it will go. So we got Christmas and then we were going to add, where is it at? The Mary on top here. I thought was really pretty. If I can get it. All right. Again, you can't tell, unless you look really close, you cannot tell that these are stickers. I think that is really pretty. And then I think since we have some space down here, why don't we add just a little bit of something, something, you know, you could put a little present there. I don't know. Should we add a snowflake? I'm wondering. I think I'm going to add a snowflake. I think I like this one. That's kind of like a star for the birth of Jesus. All right. I'm going to add it right down here. All right, so that's really pretty. So now let's find something to trim this out and hold on. Okay, so I found this another, again, neat find at Joann's of the ribbon. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other. We're gonna put a little um, tag there to hold it, and then we'll make a little really simple um, rib uh, ribbon or little bow. 
that's not the, that's a little harder to get. Okay, so then you wanna take a piece of your scrap of your felt, and again, just cut a little piece here. All right, and make sure I got the right side. I just think that's really pretty and simple. And you're just gonna do like the little awareness symbol thing, <laughs> basically. So I'm gonna put some there. I need to put some on top. This is a thicker ribbon. And then I will just put some on this little piece of felt to go over top. Ouch, <laughs> got myself twice. All right, Julie, be careful. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over. And like I said, you could leave it there. You could, um, you know, if you wanted to line your ornament, you could do that too. And then um, I think I need to add some more glue though up top here so that it doesn't bend back. I think that's so, so, so pretty. Again, easy, simple. And so to make this little bow, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Okay, we're gonna glue it together here. Make a loop and we're gonna glue it together again. gonna cut it and then I'm gonna take a little piece of a pipe cleaner a black one that I already have somewhere here and I'm going to cut a piece really small and I'm gonna wrap it in the middle and twist it little bows are hard guys these this isn't easy <laughs> Give, let me have a big bow. I'm better with a big bow. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to play with it. Trim this off again. Trim. Put a little bit of glue. I'm going to put it at the top. And I think that's adorable. Another cute little Christmas ornament that honestly, if you know how to glue, if you know how to use stickers, and um, I make these poor excuse of little bows, you know, you don't even have to put the bow on. And I think that's such a nice little gift. I'm gonna trim that S just a little bit more. There we go, so that fit perfectly. So again, these are stickers from Hobby Lobby. $2.99 a piece. Get, get them when they're 50% off or use your coupon. I don't know if you can see it now because the white's not behind it. But very simple. You could do all of these ornaments with just these two things and be done. So let me show you another way we're going to adorn some more ornaments or do some more ornaments. Okay, so let's try this again. This is my third take. <laughs> We'll see if it works. Um, you're gonna take a black Sharpie marker and you can write anything, personalize it. If you know how to letter, do the lettering. I'm gonna try to do something called Ray Dunn and, and she makes um, things that are um, like cups and dishes and stuff, but the lettering on it is just a very simple manuscript look. So it's gonna be like that look. So I'm gonna try to spell my son's name and his name is Crosby. So as you can see, we don't have very many um, things that we can find with his name on it. So let's see. All right, so <laughs> that's not perfect, but that's okay. What I so if you don't like it, just take a wipe and then some paper towel 
and you can start over. But let's try something else. Let's just try, instead of my son's name, so now I'm gonna try, let's try, what we can do is we can write on these with the Sharpies and we're gonna do a Ray Dunn inspired look. So I'm just going to spell the word Noel. Go over that one again. over one. So you're just going to let that dry. This is just another option. If you don't want to add, you know, a stickers, if you don't have stickers, you could do this. Just kind of going back over my letters to kind of give them a little bit more depth to them. And then put a little backing on it. You know, if you have an extra tree and you're like, oh, I need, some, I want some different ornaments and, and maybe you know how to letter better than I do. I am learning right now. I've been learning, but I just don't feel very confident in it yet to try it. But I think that's pretty good. I think that's a worth, that's a worthwhile thing. Um, I, I have these other stickers that you could, you know, put a little, um, you could cut out little images. I don't really think I like these as much when I take them apart because the glitter or the backing on it comes off. So I'm not, I'm just going to leave that, but I do have some cute little, um, ribbon here. If you like little trucks, you could make a little loops with these. I got all of these at, um, oh my goodness. My elephants are having a time upstairs. I don't know if you can hear them, but I can my herd of elephants are my kids. So we can just make a little, little bow here. I'm gonna make another loop. And then I'm just gonna take some of this pipe cleaner and that'll be, twist it. And I think that's cute. And you're just going to want to let this dry. You don't want to handle that too much, okay? So you could spell joy. You could just spell your kids' names. I tried to do my kids' names, and it didn't turn out very good. <laughs> I need more practice. More practice, Julie. Where's your... Yeah. And like I said, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, I would really encourage you to use those. So I'm going to just put that on the top there. Some glue. And then I'm going to, you could even make a little loop with this if you wanted to hang it like that. If you wanted like a little, if you want the black, if you don't have any black ribbon, maybe you have some black ones of these and then put it on the back. So I'm gonna see what else I have to put on the back here. All right, instead of the black, I kind of like the, this instead. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did before. Make a little loop, put some glue down. You could even sign the back of these, you know, whoever you're giving it to. They would probably really like to know every year they get their ornaments out who made it for them, you know? Okay, now we can switch that over, get rid of the glue. And I think that's cute. I think my spelling could be a little better, honestly. It could be better, but I think that's cute. So let's look at the ones we've made so far. We've made the Noel, we wrote on it. We made the star or the snowflake, and then we made the Merry Christmas with the star. I think these are adorable. Again, there's 15 of these in a sheet. 
I think that you could just make so many different things and I think these are adorable. Let me know on social media if you make them. Make sure you um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like these projects. Make sure to join me on Facebook and Instagram. Same name as Julie's Wreath Boutique. And join my cr um, crafting group called Wreath Creators and More. So we'll see you next time in Julie's Wreath Boutique.